Morning gang, this is Mike G from Mr GTV and MrMikeGarner.com and this is my point of view. And this is the 27th of December 2023, the day after Boxing Day, two days after Christmas. And how was your Christmas? I hope you had a wonderful time. In every moment of every day we can create positive experiences, we have an opportunity to create some memories. About four days ago I was driving down this very road and I'm going to show you in a minute. This actually is my point of view in terms of my opinion and it's also looking out at the front of my windscreen as I drive through the back streets of Hua Hin in Thailand. And I was on my way to get some shopping the other day and there was um, a blockage, a traffic jam if you like. It was backed up because the police had protected a crime scene, a road traffic accident. And as I drove through it became evident that it had been one of many car crashes that takes place in Thailand every day on these very challenging roads. Who are in where I live and where you can see at the moment, it's 10, 17 at the moment, and um, relatively quiet, it gets crazy at times. But very few people have passed the test here. Very few people have got insurance here. The MOT on the cars is spurious to say the least, basic. Um, in many ways, Thailand is wonderful, but one of the things that you have to be very, very aware of is the infrastructure is uh, not quite in place yet. Getting there, a lot of improvements in the 22 years I've been coming to Thailand, but. I like it but it's a dangerous place to drive and even having said that I drive a motorbike, see this motorbike and sidecar combination, somebody will have built that, there's a child on it, no helmet, flip flops, no insurance, no license, no regulation, they do what they want, you see vehicles stacked sky high, exceeding axle, weight limits, no health and safety. So I'm driving through this um, car crash and there's a tent around what is clearly a dead body in the middle of the road and um, the charity ambulances, which is what happens here. All independent hospitals, all private, there is a government hospital, no ambulance service, just charity ambulance services and they're very good. Um, but not what you're used to in the UK or Europe or Western world. Having said that, ambulance service in the Western world now is uh, falls short of expectations, doesn't it? You'll tell me that. And they had a body bag. Now my point is, what a life-changing moment that was for the guy that died. <laughs> life-changing moment he died and you never know when you're gonna die you don't choose when you come into the world you don't choose when you leave the world so again my point is make every moment memorable and um, also realize that your last moment you never know when it's gonna come so treasure what you've got and just think about what you say and what you do in the moment because if you have a blow up an argument or an unpleasant exchange with somebody you might have regret or guilt remorse what happens if you never have the opportunity to undo that that's what that person's left with you shout at somebody you go out and get killed accident something happens medically those words can't be taken back. I would respectfully advise that you don't say them in the first place. That you never lose control to the point where 
you regret your thoughts, actions, words, deeds. Now it's a hard, easy to say that you're going to make an effort, but not easy to do. But decide as we go into 2024 that you're going to make every day a holiday, that you're going to savour every moment and be thankful for your many blessings, that you're going to keep your counsel, keep your gob shut, that silence is better than bullshit, and being kind is better than being right. Because it might not only be you that says something wrong and then passes away and can't retract it. It might be the last words that you say or the last things that you do to somebody who equally can go out and have a, a dreadful event. Imagine if the last thing that you said to your parents was an argument, that you said something to your kids in haste and then something happens. Any of your loved ones, friends or works colleagues, how would you feel about that? So it's simply not worth it, it's not kind, it doesn't represent you, it doesn't evolve you, it's not worthy, don't do it. So my point of view today is, just live every day as if it's your last and get the most out of it and value every thought, word and deed, every interaction, every relationship. And I've got a lovely little concept which is imagine that everybody that you meet has got a sign round their neck that says make me feel important. Just imagine that everybody that you meet, everybody, friends, family, people that serve you in shops, workers, absolutely everybody that you meet, that you see, that you vibrate amongst, that they've got a sign round their neck, a stamp on the forehead, a t-shirt, whatever it is that visually works for you, and it says, make me feel important, and just respond to that sign. Make people feel important, make them feel loved, make them feel respected, respect them, love them, serve them to the best of your ability, and if you don't feel like doing any of that, well, don't devalue them. Just walk away. Wish them well, send them love, walk away. Because you never know if that's their last day or your last day. I'll leave it there. Be powerful, guys. Enjoy your mind. Let's create a beautiful world. We can do it, you and me. We take care.